We are spoiled for choice with On Demand TV, but this night sky provides its own schedule of cosmic events. You just have to step outside. One of the events I've been excited for this year is a partial lunar eclipse. This lunar eclipse turned out to be especially surprising because despite the weather reports saying it was going to be overcast, it turned out to be largely clear as the footage will show. I decided that a time-lapse video with a second gap between captures will show the changing Earth shadow on the moon quite well, as the video frames are actually played at about 30 frames per second. This would mean each second of video will equate to 30 seconds of the clips that are passing. There is actually one surprise event during the whole video that you can look out for. A plane flies in front of the eclipse. However, due to the video being captured in time-lapse, it is only visible for a second or two. Comment below if you manage to spot it. When recording this lunar eclipse, I faced two major problems. The first was due to the relative positions of the Earth and the Moon at the start of the lunar eclipse. The Moon was actually below the horizon from the UK, so I definitely couldn't capture the start of it. The second issue was because of the Moon's low altitude during this eclipse. At maximum eclipse, it achieved only 8.2 degrees, meaning it would be behind most low buildings. So to capture this, I had to go outside the front of my house, telescope, computer and all. This of course resulted in a lot of funny looks and one group of people actually thought they were being set up for a TV show. Once the moon gained sufficient altitude, I repositioned the telescope a few times to catch the moon through the gaps in the trees and rooftops of my neighbours' houses. This resulted in a few movements during the video. However, I did manage to start recording at the maximum eclipse of the moon by positioning my telescope just right to look through a small gap and then recorded with several moves along the way until the eclipse ended at midnight. The equipment I used to take this video was my standard Alta Astro Mono camera with two focal reducers and one extra spacer to increase the distance between the first and second focal reducer. This allows the focal length to produce further, essentially zooming out the image. However, as you can see, I think it needs one more spacer to capture the entire moon easily in one image. In addition to reduce the glare of the moon, I also use a moon filter. You can see during the video that the brightness of the moon increases and decreases as more of the moon is revealed during the eclipse is reflecting more light which causes more parts of the moon to overexpose, so whenever I noticed this I adjusted the exposure time to counteract the increasing brightness. I think for me the one feature of the moon that really stands out during this partial lunar eclipse is Tycho Crater. This is a large crater at the south of the moon, with the brilliant white blast lines that extends in all directions from it. This crater is in fact 53 miles in diameter and is believed to be relatively near. The shaking at the end of the video and the black part is me desperately trying to reposition the telescope as the moon is partly obscured by my neighbour's sloping roof. Unfortunately I had no were better at this point to position the telescope, but it still does show the end of the eclipse as the north of the moon brightens up, bar a few clouds wafting across. Well, that's all folks for another episode. I hope you liked this one. If you did, please like, comment if you've got any questions, or you managed to spot the plane and subscribe for more astronomy videos. Goodbye and clear skies.